Welcome to Crowded Lab. Today I will do F4I review. It is a tool which can become your second brain. You can load documents and URLs into this tool. And with help of AI, you can get a quick summary of your documents or perform a research on the data that you loaded into it. Basically, it can act as a chatbot over your data. At the moment, F4I is available as a lifetime deal on AppSumo. You get access to all, all the features like upload in hundreds of documents and URLs, upload different type formats, including PDF and Word documents, even PowerPoint, working in multiple languages, and enabled traceability of the answers, down to reference paragraphs. What's also important, F4I can use Google search to update answers with the latest results. Throughout this review, I will tell you what I like and what I don't like about this tool, here are the pricing plans divided in three license tiers and you are given credits here which you can spend on different actions and the tool will show you exactly how much credits expected to be spent per action. We'll see that later. And also just today the founder of FRI released an important update which is not yet mentioned at the AppSumo description. The update is related to AppSumo tier 2 and 3 and you will be able to bring your own license key, which means you will be able to use language models other than ChatGPT 3.5. And for example, you will be able to use GPT-4 or Cloud. So please subscribe to this channel to receive similar updates in the future. Before we jump into the demo, here is the quick overview of the roadmap for FRI. They have a lot of features in their backlog for implementation. For example, integration to Slack, Discord, and enabling a chat widget, that's great. As well as video summarizer, I think it will be a great feature. So now, let's move to the demo of F4i. And first of all, I must say that I like how user interface looks like. It is a very nice looking design. It is not overwhelmed with a lot of unnecessary features. So let's begin. So first of all, let's upload some data. Go into Files menu. Here is the file. Previous file was describing some airport terms and conditions. Now let's add an airline terms and conditions. Let's upload. Also let's upload a document in Microsoft Word format. It is some research paper about dopamine. Okay, we have our data ready. Let's view it. Here is the paper about dopamine. I like how you can view the actual document. Very nice to have ability to view what kind of data you have loaded. After you have uploaded your files, you need to go to chatbots and add documents to your chatbot. I have my chatbot already created. Let's select all of the documents and let's go to our chatbot. So we can see my chatbot selected. Also, we can see the files and URLs which were loaded and we can select a particular one to work with. We can scroll through our document. We can search and see highlighted lines. Now let's ask some questions about the document. Let's try some predefined prompts. Give me a summary of document. Let's go. It seems that you need to specify a document name. Let's try one more time. We can load a prompt from here and use summary. Okay, let's use give me a summary of this document. Here it is, the summary. Regarding prompts, we can see those to the left. So those can help you start quicker and you can create your own prompt if needed. Let's go back to chatbots. We can also use Google search. So let's ask this question, how dopamine is related to depression. Let's go. We can see the tool is looking through Google as well and through our documents. And that is great. So we are given the detailed answer with the citations. First of all, we have data from our document and as well, we have citations from the internet and all of that combined in one response. We can even upload this link to our chatbot or go and check it. And here is one of the sources which FRI tool found. That's great. Okay, let's try another document. This one defines some terms and conditions for one airport line. 
and let's ask for the call center number and working hours. All right, I see it didn't found the answer, but provided some sources. Let's turn off Google search and let's repeat the question. Okay, this time it still didn't provide the answer, but with Google option, at least you have the links. And for example, if we go by the first link, we can see that it found the correct source and here we can find the call center number. All right, let's try another data source, terms and conditions from Ryanair airline. Let's ask what is the baggage allowance per person. Let's go. Okay, I can see that it tries to find the information from all of the files loaded, like from plus airport line and the document about dopamine. So probably for better results, it is good to have in one chatbot only related data. All right, to get clean results, I just created new chatbot with uploaded a link to terms and condition from this airline. All right, so now let's ask what is the baggage allowance per person? And that's great. We're getting the correct response with the provided citation. And here is the cited source. Also, please pay attention that for the last query, I didn't use powerful mode and still it was enough to get the correct response. So you are spending less credits and still getting the results that you need. Let's quickly take a look at file wizard. So here you can select a particular file and then it seems that during the file upload, you can apply a specific prompt like translate these texts into English. Okay, nice to have. As well, F4i provides API access, so you can talk to your chatbots through API requests, for example, via some integration tool like Zapier or from another application. All right, moving to the conclusion. Let's summarize what I like about this tool. First of all, I like how clean and easy to use the user interface of F4i. You can load your documents and see easily what was loaded. So it is easier to create different prompts to extract data and summary from uploaded files. Also, in my case, when I upload it into one chatbot, different kind of information, then F4i in some questions struggled to give correct answer. But when I tried one more time and uploaded it into chatbot only airline specific information, then I got correct answer. So as of now, this tool is more of AI research assistant where you can load your files data and query those with help of AI. But looking at their roadmap, I can see that this tool will become a full powerful chatbot as well. So we will have Slack, Discord and website widget integration. So if you would like to get this tool, please check the links in the description. Please also give this video a like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.